a short video to show you uh, how I set this up, my Lathe Tool Freestyle, and how I set up the, uh, the copy uh, tracer uh, template attachment. Uh, I've already got these, uh, these main points already mounted. Uh, basically, when you get your uh, kit, or when it comes uh, in the box, it'll be together like this here, and you're basically just dropping that in, rotating out, and tightening up these, uh, these uh, socket head screws. And uh, typically when you set this one, you're probably not going to have to reset that one too much because uh, this is a, a non-movable point. Whereas this one, uh, if you change your dimensions uh, for lengthwise, you're going to be uh, moving this one around uh, in and out uh, across the lathe bed. And uh, it's not too hard to do. So basically, uh, uh, the way I get my uh, really precise uh, dimension is uh, what you want to worry about is this point is is it in line with this point and this point is it in line with these points so uh, and I just basically uh, you've seen this on my videos I just get a square I'm matching my points up and that's your key right there as long as you got your uh, points pretty much in line with each other I mean okay this isn't a milling machine or something but we are talking wood, but as, you, as you've seen in some of my videos, I can get this pretty close. But the secret is right here to make sure that your points are matching in line with each other. And then from there, you can adjust uh, on my lathe tool freestyle. You can adjust, well, how, how much extra do I want to, uh, you know, cut or not cut? And, and by moving this in or out, you can adjust uh, how much extra that you can make for, you know, sanding or uh, uh, final finishing and things like that. So obviously for that setup, again, you're just taking your square. Yeah, I dropped a wood mallet over there. I'm taking my square, I'm matching that right up to my uh, tracer element down here. And once again, I'm lining up this point dead nuts with that square. The square you want flat on the plate. And I'm lining that up real close. And I'm a little proud, I don't know if you can see it in the video, but I'm a little proud up here. I'm not touching this point. I'm about, oh, I bet I'm a 32nd away. So that'll give you a 16th all the way around. That might be a little too far, but uh, I'm always cutting a little bit proud so that I have a little bit of extra finishing room. And that's why you want to do that. So back to these points. So once you have all this set up, now you're ready to roll. You can put your, your, uh, your master down here and you can have your... Uh, uh, you know your square stock up here so uh, when you get this done what you'll have here is if you notice this 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 comes in and contacts this the reason for that is you don't want this interfering with this while it's spinning and in the same way this is designed and it's on purpose oh that's a great waste of wood well maybe but you're not gonna very easily bring this tip into this rotating mass as long as you're keeping this in line you're okay now obviously if, if you make this loose and you're rotating this around yeah you're gonna have a catch there. you're gonna break something so that's obviously not how it's designed to be used and you want to really watch out for that make sure your uh, your knobs tight when you come in close to those ends uh, I'm gonna line that back up yep no big deal and now you're ready to roll so uh, what I'll do to set this length here uh, typically what you can do and what I do is I'll take my uh, I'll take my master. Uh, in other words, you've just created something, and I'll put that. It's it's actually already going to be up in here, but I will bring that up to where that's pointing. And now I know about where to set this here. I can kind of get me a, a a just amount, and I can set this, and I can tighten this down. I can tighten this socket head screw down right here. And that kind of gives me a, oh, a rough dimension for my, for my length of my spindle that I want to turn. And then after that, I can take that, uh, that same spindle, let me move my lathe to a freestyle here, and I can bring that right down to the bottom and loosen up my points. I don't have to worry about that because they're already going to be in line. I've got my, my vertical already set my, or with my point to point. That's going to remain pretty close, at least I haven't had them change very much. And I can go ahead and uh, loosen up that these nuts on these uh, oh uh, these points. Tighten that down a little bit. You want you you don't want your you don't want your master moving too much. 
I like to clamp them in pretty good. And you kind of just get an overall height this way, this way here to make sure it's, you know, pretty close there. Again, it, you don't have to be super exact uh, because, again, uh, my lathe tool has this uh, tracing element, has length to it. It's reasonably perpendicular to the table. So no matter where your spindle ends up on this, you're going to remain a pretty good distance uh, that you had set up here for your cutter. So that's not too bad a way to do it. I haven't had any real issue. But I'll go ahead and clamp this in and then I just tighten these up. You see me do this on videos. Obviously, I suggest you watch all those videos. There's some tips and tricks on there I like. Uh, but that's basically how I set up. Now I can come in and get my, my neck square, my blank. And I can put that in here. I won't do that right now, but I can go ahead and, and uh, strike this off for center, pop it in here, and I'm ready to roll with my lathe tool freestyle. I can go in there. I can slide this to one side. And then I can go ahead and make my copy, make my duplicate. One side, and then, of course, go to the other side. You've seen the videos how I do that. And, uh, again, uh, that's just the setup. I thought, well, I better put that on a website to show you guys what I'm talking about. Oh wow, if you notice this doesn't even have a bit in it. This is just a uh, freestyle that I had uh, that I had sitting without a bit in it. But that's the general idea. Here we go with the bit. Uh, the main thing, keep these tips lined up and uh, you're not going to be uh, you're not going to be off too far on your on your sizing. Uh, the rest of that is just academic as far as uh, uh, getting your master in there tight enough and so that you can trace it. Uh, while you're cutting your blank. So uh, that's the setup. I'm not going to get into too, too much detail there. I think that's enough. Uh, again, uh, make sure when, uh, when you're ordering this to make sure that you're going to order. Uh, tell me what your dimension is. Down here I've got a picture in figure A uh, for your uh, clamp, your clamp base clamp, uh, that plate. And that way I can uh, make sure that the right ones are getting sent out with the, so that it fits your lathe. So uh, that's about it. Uh, thanks for uh, checking this out. Uh, and uh, I will uh, see you on the flip side here. Bye-bye. Hey, here's one more thing I wanted to show you real quick before you got away from me. Uh, I forgot to go over uh, how to set this height. Uh, this is also a very important uh, when you first get your tool. Uh, you want to make sure you're checking that. Uh, what you want to do with that is uh, I'll loosen up my... Uh, my wheel here, my uh, my uh, handhold knob, get you an Allen and loosen up that bottom collar. And what I'll do, I'll swing this right over to my point. And I like to have that. I, I don't know if the camera's picking this up, but I keep that just about right on center with that point. That's how I like to roll. And then I tighten up that collar that this is rolling on. Now this never changes. I can remove this if I want to put something else on or change my bit or whatever I want to do. Pop this back on. Guess what? I'm still right in line. I haven't changed it at all. Um, I just wanted to, to bring that to your attention. Uh, you want to do that before you make your first uh, copy, obviously. Uh, it's not going to cut right. Your wood's going to look like, uh, well, all ragged and everything when you do that. So uh, once you set that, go back, get your square, and you're gonna you're gonna reset your uh, your tracer your tracer up with your point get that in line and tighten that down tighten your handle down real good and then you're ready to roll again uh, so just that was just a real quick I forgot to bring that up uh, your tracer in the same way I'm not seeing it I don't know if you're gonna see this in frame or not but I kind of like to keep that tracer oh about in the middle of that point so if there's a little variation in my spindle uh, I'm still going to pick that up for uh, for a pretty good accurate duplication. So just a couple little tips I wanted to show you that uh, for setup and uh, thanks again.